The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit every single week. Lady Ada is a power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the parts you need on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is the Great Search of the Week this week? Okay, so this week um, I saw this really cool thread by this person, Rumor, um, and they got a Snaptron design guide. And, you know, um, they posted this really neat video. So there, there's a demo of this series from Snaptron. You can see they are snap dome switches. Um, but they have LED backlights in them, which is like very, very neat. Um, so, uh, you know, the first place I saw snap down switches was the pocket chip, which had, if I zoom in here, it had dozens and dozens, like maybe, you know, half, half a, like, sorry, uh, like 500, 600, 50 or 60, hundreds, 50 or 60, a couple dozen snap down switches that were laminated into a piece of plastic and then placed on top of the PCB. And, you know, this is a much less expensive way of manufacturing. Um, and uh, yes, a much lower height, like you don't have the mechanics of like, you know, this switch with uh, pads, and then above it, you know, an actuator, your, your, your finger is the actuator. And then of course, you can put an overlay, like a vinyl overlay that has legend on it. Um, and, you know, you can use this for, um, that you can use that to label the buttons. So like, you know, I have these low cost remote controls and I had, when I was a kid, I had a calculator that had these like, little pocket calculator with dome switches. So um, inexpensive, easy way to add a lot of buttons. And I think, you know, this was a perfect example of, of um, dome switches. So Snaptron, uh, I guess their whole thing is they make dome switches. Cause this is like a pretty sweet hero image uh, demonstrating um, all of their products. So like really big ones, teeny ones, they come on tape, uh, so you can uh, pick and place them very easily. And um, they do have a couple different families here. I think the DT series is very cool. But in case you're like, oh, man, I want like that kit too, you can get um, that same design kit that was shown off in this thread here with like all the different sizes and like the demos, and you can feel them and click them to your heart's content. Um, go to digikey.com slash n slash supplier center slash snaptron and then um, scroll down here and you can uh, pick up your dome kit for free. They give it, it's, a, it's a sample. I believe they will ship it to you um, if you give them your, your name and address. But some of the series that I thought was very neat here um, was, you know, particularly the, the dual tactile dome S switch. Um, so what's neat about this is there's two, two contacts. There's first like this. So you solder in these three, um, pads, and then this one is left kind of like floating. And so when you first press this contact will touch first. And then when you press in even more, the center contact goes in and, um, and here's that, uh, this detail about the peel in place, which is a uh, lot more. This is kind of neat. So, you know, you're ready to go sheets that you just press on. So instead of picking and placing like dozens of switches, you just uh, paste, um, you tape this on, you know, using a jig, and then all of your buttons are placed instantaneously because you don't actually need to solder them down. They can make, they can use mechanical uh, contact um, instead of, of soldering, although you can solder these as well. Um, so these are uh, dual, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, these are the dual series. And this is how, um, you know, you solder it in. And then you see this part makes contact first and then the second contact. So there's, you can have up to two detections for like soft and, and hard press. And you can also get them with or without the ability to have um, a backlight, which is also very neat. Um, so these are all available at DigiKey. So if you just search for uh, metal dome switch, and um, they're going to be under tactile switches. And there's a couple other vendors, but you know, um, I'll say Snaptron very clearly, like kind of has the market here. You can get different operating forces. They do start kind of higher than tactile switches. Um, and you're also going to see like, you know, they're also going to be, you know, the word metal, you know, is in, in, in the description of other ones. 
even though the ones that have the um, the hole for back illumination, you're going to want the LED behind the PCB, so it's going to be reverse mount. That's going to be um, uh, it's it's going to be called non-illuminated. So let's go for active snap dome, and then this will get rid of like some of these you know random things that came in. So you can see like Snaptron really kind of like has kind of has this whole thing nailed down like just searching for snap metal dome is what you get but they do have them in multiple different sizes um with lots and lots of stock so 10 6 8 you know every any size millimeter from very large to very small um the dual touch the ones that it's like you can press and then press again those are called dt bl means that they have the hole and i think like the next two numbers are the um yeah, the, this number, the 12 means 12 by 12 millimeter. And then 450N is the uh, amount of force you need to press it. So, you know, this these are both dual touch backlit 12 millimeter. And this one is 540N, so it's going to be very tough to press. And this is the 340N, a lot lighter to press. So, you know, pick and choose from, from your desired setup. There's tons and tons in stock. Um, there's also these that are they're non dual touch. It's like you just press once. Um, but I like the dual touch ones. Those I thought were pretty cool. So I think my pick is going to be, oh, I don't know this one. Why not? Dual touch and backlit. Very cool. I didn't know that you could even do that with um, metal dome switches. So I learned a lot today. So this is my pick for the great search. And that's research.